Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 148 of Fallout 4. The last episode, uh, Starlight got some more some more makeovers. Um, it's got this giant ass guard tower that's very well lit up, and all the light bleeds through, which is kind of funny because it can't make nice walls in this game. It just can't. Not wood ones, anyway. You? No, shut up and trade goods between settlements. Don't talk to me, provisioner. But <laughs> um, we have turrets up there, so we have a uh, rocket turret like in the center, so like in a plus sign. So like down on the other side, there's a rocket turret, and there's one right here, and there's one over there. Yes, it's floating. It's okay. It's okay. And there's and there's some in the corners. So this place pretty much has 360 degree coverage up top, and that that uh, that combined with me and the settlers is some some pretty beastly defense. Now, I was thinking, and I realized that's dangerous but uh crops are cool I, I know but maybe i'll get enough crops to keep us fed and then dedicate everybody else to scavenging i mean i've got so many crops i really do i've got a redonkulous surplus and it's amazing i have more than enough to craft my way to like super high levels because i can do adhesive but if i have everybody everybody scavenge that might be better depending what they can bring back because I mean with the coming changes and this pisses me off this this is just this seems like a seems to be growing ridiculous well. just stupid change but uh, the upcoming changes the what is it strength no longer strength either no longer or does not as well as it used to contribute to the amount of carry capacity as you uh, that you that you can have now I have what like 300 I'm approaching yeah 300 so I have 300 carrying capacity and then I have of course all of my gear is pocketed so I am like set to scavenge that my carry capacity is gonna get pretty much halved and then of course that means they're also fixing the the follower inventory bugs so I won't be able to infinitely load up a follower which is good because I don't have to sit there and make them do it over and over and over and over again but it's also annoying because now I can't haul everything back that I want. So let me store this corn. We're going to move our, our farms. But I think having more people set to scavenge and then automatically add things to my workshop, which is then connected. I don't need these anymore, actually. Let me store those. So, so it's connected to my workshop, so it stores crafting ingredients, and I think they can get just about anything from scavenging, which is pretty cool. So my resources should be pretty... Uh, they're they're going to be limited because of what I can do. They're going to do better because of what the settlers will, will now do. And I mean, we did just dedicate an entire settlement. Why is it not... Are these glitched? I, I'm, I'm storing them. They aren't getting stored. That was weird. But, uh... Hold on. Can I have to make sure I highlight them? Because yeah, like, it, it, even though it's telling me to store it... Does it act? So... Yep, the game crashed. <laughs> just a, uh, a suggestion there. If you're getting that, at least on PC... If you're spamming tab to store something and there's nothing to be stored, I uh, maybe that causes a memory leak. I don't know. That crashed the game. I was just like pressing tab then enter. You know, just God damn it to store. Now I'm like scared whenever I go to store something. So I press tab and then E to store it. And then there was like here I was doing it like this way and I was spamming E and it wasn't storing anything. So that crashed it. Cool, cool. Thanks game. Like right there, there's nothing highlighted. And if I were to store it, I'd probably start breaking the game even more. So let's just. Try to be careful. Play within the game's broken-ass rules. Wait for something to get highlighted. Oh my god. That's such a pain in the ass. Game, I hate you. But uh, what the hell was I talking about? I think I, I was talking about a lot about the, uh, the inventory space. So dedicating more followers to scrapping is probably in my better interest. And I think I'm going to abide by that and roll with it. So the crops, the potatoes we have down there, I will... I'll have to add more because we obviously need enough. God damn it! We, we need we need another. This is so wonky. We need enough crops to keep people fed so they don't get pissy and leave me. And then um, any ex any excess, of course, I'm going to use that to craft adhesive. But the rest of people will be committed to scrapping, and that's going to add up, I think, over time pretty well. Look! 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 There's like ghost corn. It scrapped everything, but there's nothing scrapped. You see in this or stored? This, see how it says potato plant at the top right? Corn? Fucking ghost plants! The food value went down. Uh, I'm gonna quick save. And I'm gonna quick load and hope we don't brick the game. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, nothing's there. Nothing. Ghost corn? 
Ghost cord, memory leaks, broken game. Bethesda, please. All right. Well, we move on. We move on. And we hope it doesn't. We hope it doesn't break everything. So back to. Uh, we don't need water. Back to food. And the potatoes are okay where they're at. I have a good bit of settlement size to work with now that I scrapped everything and moved some crops. I could probably put some lights up here. Wouldn't be a bad idea considering all of our settlers are going to be over here. I could wall this off too. In fact, I could really wall this off. Like, I could put a wall here, cut over, wall off, and then, like, the only way settlers can get in is from, like, right here, and then it's a protected area. Uh, depending on how good or bad the junkyard fences want to cooperate. Uh, junk fences, I mean, they're pretty junkyardy. But uh, depending on how much they want to cooperate, this may or may not be a good thing. Uh, let's, let's, let's mess around with them. Are you gonna, yeah, that's right, you don't snap. That's why I hate you guys with a bloody passion. Alright, so that's a dumb idea. This game's dumb. <laughs> this game is dumb. Oh, I don't want to go through and try to pick all of them up. Oh, shit. Do I want to just do fences? Or, I'm sorry, actual walls? Because they, they work. You know, they, they, these ones snap. Um... Let's do these, see if I can do this up. I didn't mean to place that yet. So I could do this to block it off there, and then you should snap. Are you going to snap? Oh, you're not going to snap because. Okay, you know what? This is dumb. This is dumb. So, in the interest of just doing this right, let's try this. Pray the game doesn't explode, because last time I started storing tato plants, it had an aneurysm. This will probably be the last episode, I'm assuming, how much I can get done here, spent at Starlight. It depends on how quickly I can get what I want done. But uh, we're running out of settlement size. Maybe, maybe, maybe cut again in the next episode, I don't know. But yeah, it's going to be time to head over to Grey Garden. Just give that place a little bit of TLC, and then uh, head over to the Automatron to start looking into it. Because, yeah, we've been building for a while, and I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. But we gotta got to mix it up every now and then, just a little bit. A little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, let's just, again, let's just do up the potatoes. I have a couple of them stored, clearly. So, hopefully this doesn't get too wonky. So, I, I wasn't counting. So, we have three there, four. So, let's go to twelve. Five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12. Okay, that is one person's worth of food. Or, I'm sorry, one person's worth of work dedicated to food. And it's going to be six food value. So we need, what, we have probably getting about 20 people, so we need at least 20. Because I think it's, it's one food value per person. And they don't really need variety. Yeah, we can put mute fruit down, which is more space-friendly and less crops. In fact, it's not a bad idea. Like in a building settlement, if you want to put food in it, which you kind of have to, using mute fruit is a good idea because they are one food value per item. And unless they take up more space at the top right, like settlement space, which I don't know. I don't know how. They, 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 sh they should tell you. When you're placing an object, they should tell you what your max capacity is for a settlement, like what's your maximum amount of. I don't know, like, whatever units of measurement they're doing, and for some reason you cannot place crops here. Whatever units of measurement they have. So it would tell me, like, a potato takes up one out of 1,000, you know, settlement points or something stupid. Yeah, it's kind of stupid the way they, they handle that. I, I don't like it. Let's put the crops right here. There's a trash pile that's in the way, so let's, let's just build around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, okay. And we're, that should get us to 18, right? That should get us to 18. So in the interest of completely re, uh, dedicating a seller to work, so let's let's do a whole other line. So two, three, oh, oh, come on. Four, five, six. <laughs> nice Brock, seven, four, eight. 9, 10, 11, and... Uh, let's just do one of these tater plants. Cool. Alright, so that should be enough food for the entire settlement, and I would like to have, like, maybe a... How well is this going to work? Serious question. Let's go in this building underneath. Let's put a generator there. 
let's put a conduit on the wall and see if it expands across this whole little settlement. Assuming I can squeeze a generator in here. I mean, you figured you'd be able to put one here, but this is Fallout. So, conduit. Let's see. Does this work the way I would I would hope? Now, of course, I gotta, I gotta go all the way around. But let's go to lights. Let's go to industrial wall light. And let's see here. Nice. Now, let's see if it carries the power all the way across, though. That's inside of a wall. That's floating. Bethesda, please. So, let's not do that. How far does this power carry? That's what I figured. So, it'll require some conduits, but that is about it. I mean, this is where all the settlers are going to be anyway. And if I can get you there, that'd be better. Is that really worth a conduit? I think it is. So, I want to be able to see what the settlers are doing from a distance, you know, if something's actually happening or not. Uh, whoa, this thing's like freaking the fuck out. I wanted it to go on this beam here. That does not appear to be the case. <laughs> it does not want to. So maybe we'll have to forsake that. Can I go through? Oh my god, I can almost go through. Oh wow, I'm stuck. Motherfucker. Alright, let's see if I can get my way out of here. Nope. Nope. That's going to make me do all that shit again, isn't it? It's going to make me do all that shit again. I'm about to fast travel to the settlement if we get completely stuck in the interest of fixing a bug and not losing progress. Because I am inside of a goddamn wall. Or, or, cheating where, cheating where cheating is necessary. You know? So, that was, that was the no clip command. It lets you walk through walls. Let's not ruin a game because of a fucking glitch. I was stuck on a wall. <laughs> maybe if I move this thing closer, maybe I'll get some power out of it. Oh, okay, right? There. Come on, I don't want to go too close. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, that's one of the very few times I would say using console is okay. Because that's just some bullshit. That's, that's broken as fuck. Alright, let's see. You're not strapped with explosives and running towards me, are you? No? We're friends? Okay. Alright, so, food value. Uh, it's not assigned. So, you are assigned to a Brahmin. Which means I need to go back to my other settlement and assign people to Brahmin. Because I didn't really understand the way that worked. Because it wasn't very clear. But yeah, now that I know, we'll give that a go. So, I want... 8... I should actually go over... I should go to 24. With everybody assigned. I need to figure out who is all assigned to food. And then mess with them. Because I only need, what, four people total? It should only be four people total. Okay, you have food. I guess as they come towards me. Did the Brahmin come over? Almost like they're trying. You are not food. You are not food. You are not food. You are not food. You are food. How much food do you have? Not, like, tasked to capacity. If I reassign you, will you do your job? That's not all this is being worked. Okay, can we go up to 24? Can we go up to 24? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Motherfucker! <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like your task to capacity either. There's like one plant that doesn't have an assignment. Like one. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, go up, to, go up there. Hey, yeah, you guys are all food. Go up to 24, please. Yes! Alright, that should be good. So, these are all people who are going to get dedicated. <laughs> They're dedicated to, uh, <laughs> to scavenging. It's a lot of people. That's the goal. This is the goal. So, resources, miscellaneous, and, uh, I mean, we could also dedicate some people to Brahmin. If we wanted to, that's fertilizer, which is good, mind you, because fertilizer means, um, what, jet? Yeah, jet. Now, I kind of like this idea. Putting a bunch of these things here, which keeps them close to my base, which should in turn keep them protected, because they're underneath the protection of said rocket turrets, you know? They'll be over here, like, working. Like, they, they like, like weld these things. It looks really stupid when they do it, but they're, they always interact with these objects. Maybe we'll have some settlers who are a bit more safe. So, just as close as I can get them without looking overly stupid. Okay, then you gotta rotate it. I guess I'll put it all out front. And we have four people dedicated to food, so it gives me 12 people to work with. Now that doesn't count the people who are on Brahmin duty. Why are you turds? Why are you turds parking it where I'm fucking building? Do I have to choke a bitch? 
You guys dead yet? Uh, <laughs> the guy flying in the background. Ah, oh, God. Alright, well, that's what you get when you don't fucking listen. So, let me just go ring the bell again. That, that'll move him. And I swear they strive. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. You don't like this place? Hmm? 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 But I, they strive to be assholes and get in, the, get in the way, I swear. Sometimes it's just, it's blatant. It is blatant. So, no, I don't want that guy to do anything. I don't want to sign him or anything right now. I want to go to Miscellaneous and continue along. And this was hastily placed, so... Actually, given the fact that uh, this thing extends out a bit, it wouldn't be a wise idea to put it right next to the stairs like I did there, because, yeah, it's, like, not against the wall. All right, so, in the interest of continuing the trend, continue to do that. That's about as close as I'm going to get it gracefully. Okay. How many do we have up front? We have three here, we have four there, obviously because of the spacing issue. So I may move that one, and then put you here. Pretty much everybody, like, all around. And it's good if everybody's around, because wherever the attack comes from, you have people waiting. We'll just store one of those. So they're, they're on, like, every direction. Yes, guys, don't mind the skeleton, the entrance to the house. It's, it's It doesn't mean I overwork you guys or anything. It's just, she was here when we got here, and I can't scrap her down for oil, which I need. So I have one on that side already. Let me just continue said trend. Okay. So we have, what, four? We have four. Okay, so we have four. There we have eight. That means I have probably, like, four total settlers free. That's a flying problem, if I've ever done seen one before. But that's the police. What the fuck? All right. Uh, <laughs> both of these Brahmin assigned. You were, you were unassigned. Where's the... Th Third one. Who's assigned to these goddamn Brahmin? You know what? Here, get your, get your little, your little feeding troughs here. You guys can have your own feeding troughs. You guys don't need to fight over one. Okay, you good? We cool? We cool? We friends? We, we Brahmins now? All right. So, let's get everybody working here. You. Do shit. Okay. You. Not doing anything. Got it. Do shit. You. Shit. Sure. Do it. Um. You. Quit being lazy. Okay. Scavenge all the things. Nice hard hats. This is like the hard hat army. Hey, you're the guy who wants to go to Diamond City. Uh, welcome to uh, manual labor. Because God. you complained about my settlement. How dare you. Do you have a job, ma'am? It doesn't look like you do. You're just kind of standing there. Well, welcome to the jobs. <laughs> Get one. So this one and this one and good. And we have one more free one. She didn't say anything, but that's because she was far away. This one is also unassigned. I have two more. No, three more. Three more unassigned ones. Okay, you. Go there. Okay. Uh, anybody over there? Not that I'm really seeing. Oh, you. Hello. It's going to be easier once they're all up against the wall working on those things to see who does not does and does not have a job. Now, of course, I can make this a market. I don't have to scavenge, and it's not like it's any skin off my back. Later on, we could just get rid of the scavenging, scavenging stations and put down the little trader shops. We could hell, we could put them in this building. We've got the capacity for them, you know? So that's assigned, that's assigned, 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 not assigned, and then I do want, I might as well just like even it out. Let me assign people to this one, assuming we have anybody left over. Okay. Okay, we got three, or we got four people on crops, which is what we wanted. And we have, is there anybody who's lollygagging? I feel like there's a settler or two who's lollygagging. Tell you what, quick save. Let's use the bell and just examine all the settlers, make sure they're assigned to their respective tasks. Don't see anybody there. Don't see anybody back here. If there's anybody hiding. Like, not doing what they should be doing. Just close that. It's a security risk. It's not locked. Doesn't really matter. Close this too. <laughs> Alright, so who is and is not assigned? You guys are obviously all crops. Yep. And scavenging, scavenging. Ooh, food. Why are you food? You're not doing anywhere near enough food. Let me assign you away, because we only need four people. We have 24 food value. And anybody who's on food will have to, like, maybe reassign. Uh, you look like you're tasked to capacity. Who looks like who looks like they're fucking around? I don't really... I don't even really look like they're fucked or fucking around. Like, okay. just maybe try to reassign them. Got it. And just see if they build back up. See, like, that oh. plant was not being taken care of. 
And then again, it may have just loaded because we moved people around. Okay. Do we not have enough crops? Oh, it's because she she was already on food. So that should go up to 24 because it went down to 18, right? What the shit? Do I, did I miss one? Because I it very well could have. And the interests are just taking care of it. Let's throw down another potato. Let's just see what happens. And somebody should eventually take that over. Is there like yeah, like oh no there there is one right here. It's just not being assigned. I don't need to put an extra one. God damn it. We'll just give it time. Let them reassign their duties. You know as they take over. I think they'll I think they'll eventually figure it out. We have enough food regardless. We're, we're good there. So everybody seems to be scavenging. There are two people who we should assign to Brahmin. I mean, fertilizer's nice for jet, right? And it's not something I get a lot of. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's get rid of a scavenging station on both sides. And that should free up two people. So that frees up one person. Um, who did that free up? Who? Okay, you. No job. You are now t you are now on literal poop duty. Okay? How's it feel? How's it feel? Okay, you, are you assigned? You, you assigned? Like... Am I understanding this correctly? Because we've seen a person assigned to a Brahmin. Why, why, why does pressing E make you pull out a gun? I like make this guy dance. It's a bit weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like it says unassigned, like it needs a person. You know, it doesn't do anything. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like I can. I can't, I can't interact with a Brahmin. Never quite understood that mechanic, so I tell you what, it's not working the way I think it should work. So, you are back to scavenging duty. Did I... F I think the other one was free. I may have to put another one down again. Yeah, okay, so you ha actually... You're not doing anything. Why don't I build, like, a... I could do a little trader st trader shop. So, weapons. and I Weapons are something I'm getting a lot of. Armor, I think I'd... In the long run, with that update that's about to occur, armor might become a problem. Armor Emporium requires a lot of caps. Armor Shop. I don't think we need, necessarily need to make an Emporium so much as just making a little trading thing would be an okay idea. Um, doesn't look like this is going to face the wall or anything. Face the wall. Why don't we put you, like, up here? Uh, I know this might seem silly. That took. Uh, that's that's gonna go through. Oh, it didn't because we used those weird flooring. All right, so that man is now somebody we can sell armor to. Uh, I gotta find him. Is that him? Yes. So now we have a vendor up here. Yeah, it cost me a thousand caps. It's no emporium, but uh, spamming emporiums everywhere is going to be a luxury. Uh, that, that that requires three thousand caps every time. So I really have to farm up caps and. I think they'd get annoying really quickly. So we can sell to him as just a general trader. He'll have armor on occasion, and I'm assuming he should buy armor for better prices. Now, can I move that workshop over here? Put that in my, my main building? Also, we have all of these things with my stuff in them. I can't move that. Oh, I, I guess I didn't get rid of this stuff. I'll get rid of some settlement signs. Hell yeah. We still, we still have plenty of room to work with now that I think about it. Every scumbag in the Commonwealth. Shut up, Valentine. <laughs> um, let's put like the leather stuff in here, the harness, because it'll break down if we need it to. All that crap. That's from killing those random raiders. All the mute fruit. Uh, go and drop all the corn. Uh, buff out care flowers. Just stupid stuff we don't need. Psycho, psycho jet. Uh, purified water only in my inventory. Uh, that's the majority of it. We still have that cryo later on us, which is heavy. Lots of fusion cores. Lots of ammo. Um, weapons. Okay, I have crappy knuckles. Stuff like that will break down. Uh, why don't I sc scrap? No, don't don't take all. Oh, Where no is the? Oh, it's over here. Let's let's Ain't scrap. for trouble, I hope. I, I hope not either. You don't look like you're actually assigned to anything, are you? No, you're you're scavenging. I don't know why you're over here. I mean, I understand what scavenging means, but <laughs> most of the time they're they're over there by the actual station. Whatever. Weapons workbench. Let me see here. Muzzle powerful. Let's just get rid of that. Do I get gears out of this? I get gears out of this. We'll get rid of you. It's probably worth selling that thing, but I could go for some gears at this point. That does not get me gears. So the 10 millimeters are giving me gears. But that stuff isn't. Sucks. 
Let's see if I have any other junk armor on me that I can get rid of. Uh, we have the armor workbench here. I'm probably going to... No, I don't have any here. I am probably going to move these up into the building and, you know, like kind of make one of my little bedroom things, my own little man cave again. But uh, put that stuff in there. I think it's a better idea. Make that my main little hub, if you will. These guys walking around with their guns out. They're <laughs> freaking me out, settlers. What are you doing, man? And let's go see if that dude ever went to his trading station. Uh, I don't think he knows how to pathfind. Probably be a good idea to sleep. Um, these little corners are going to be excellent to hide in from getting shot at. So I think I'll put like the... That's kind of fading in the side of the wall. I'll put the workbenches and stuff along here. Uh, I, I want to see if this dude will go to his trading station because he's kind of wonking the fuck out. Let me sleep an hour. And it's getting to be about time to wrap the episode up. I Sorry. Think we ought to talk. Are you mad at me, bro? Sounds mad. What's wrong? Wrong? Oh, no. Nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I uh, figure that offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I maybe I leave you guys in suspense because the episode's getting long. <laughs> I think I'll do it, guys. It is time to wrap it up here. However, episode one forty eight. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.